Have you ever wanted to put a Divi Global as the footer on your Divi website? So when I mean footer, not just a global position that's stuck on the pages, but a footer that is at the bottom of your blog, at the bottom of your archive pages, and at the bottom of your WooCommerce pages, well the footer injector does exactly that. Let me show you exactly how this works. It's a free plugin from Divi Framework. So here we have the Divi Framework website, and in the footer here, I've got a global position that I'm injecting everywhere. What does that mean? Well, it means that when I go to the blog, for example, and I look at a particular page, this is an article I recently published, well, on the footer of this, I've got my global there. Pretty cool, eh? And this also means that when I go to things like my checkout pages, well, it's there as well. And this is the benefit of using a footer injector. You see, I could have done this with the Divi module, had it as a global, but there's certain pages I couldn't deal with. Now, I don't like my blog to be using the Divi Builder. I like these articles just to be straight up articles, not shoved full of short codes that Divi actually does. So I wanted to use this particular footer and it means that things like my sidebar are preserved and I can use certain features out of WordPress that natively I really like. And this can be really handy for other pages as well. Like I use a knowledge base article tool in my documents. And again, the global's there. If I look at our video grid module, and go down to the bottom of the tutorial, well, there the footer is as well. This is the benefit of the footer injector. So how do I manage it? Well, first of all, you install it from the Divi Framework website. So go into the shop and you'll find it inside the shopping area and we're looking at the footer injector. It's free, it's $0. So you just add to cart, check out, and you end up with an account and you're able to install it. Once I've installed that, we need to go from there into the Divi menu. So I scroll down on the sidebar here and go into the Divi menu and you'll see that I've got a new item called Divi Global Footer. I open that item up and here I can select different globals that I've set within Divi. I'm using the three blurbs footer area. You could use anything, literally anything that you want. You can switch that footer up, save it, and it will inject that global as the footer on every page of your WordPress powered website using the Divi Builder. So I hope that gives you a lot of ideas of what you can do using the Divi Global Footer Injector from Divi Framework. Remember, it's free, so why don't you download it now and make the most of this powerful tool for your Divi powered websites.